Hey guys, this is Dapsin Ishmael. I not so long ago made a video about how to use Idai Vimeo um, video as well as um, YouTube video which will be playing in the background of a layout grid in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. So I had a comment that I was asking how would it be possible to make um, that same background video this time around become uh, like the background of the entire website or web page as um, a scene here so that it shows on the entire screen so today's tutorial is basically going to take a look at how to go about that so i have opened here with the web builder i'm going to go ahead to grab the layout grid tool and then i'm going to draw on the canvas because i only need one column i'm going to get rid of this first column here so i'll simply remove it and then i click on ok so as you can see it's gone now next is to just come back here that is to the properties and come to styles under styles the same process as the first one you come to video and here you provide the link for the youtube video or the vimeo video so i already have a video that i tend to uh, i would want to use which is this video as we saw for the first video with the same process you basically click on share and then you go to embed or you select the embed option let me just uh, make sure this is showing here so you click on embed and then you copy the code over here into notepad so let me just paste it here and then after that you go ahead to copy the link of the video just the link so starting from https and then pray before the co end of the code so you copy that and then you open your wizard web builder and then you paste this here let me just click on ok so we preview this yes so it's not showing because we haven't put any content in our layout grid so to be able to make that visible what we can do is to put in maybe text and populate this with a couple of um, paragraphs here and then if possible even change the pattern of this to uh, okay i don't think it's necessary to change the pattern so let's just maybe just preview this in the browser and as you can see we have our video showing here now in case you'd want to make the video serve as the background video of the entire page when you come to the settings what you do is to come to the column height so you change the column height to 100 um, vh that is variable i think variable column variable height or so variable height or so and you click on ok let's preview this again in the browser and see how it's going to look like so as you can see the video becomes our background video so in case you are working on um, with other grids what you can do is let me just bring in another grid here so you bring this here let me just move this text into uh, let me just remove this and then add some part into this particular grid I've got in here and then click on OK and then I'm going to move this grid within this grid then I'll set a background color for this after double clicking on this i'll simply come to the settings section and then where i have a uh, background mode i can change this to solid and then select um, a solid color which is maybe white is fine and then i would add some form of opacity to it so let me come to the alpha section and make it 200. i'll then go ahead and then click on ok come back to general and Instead of having a full width grid, I'm going to limit this to 960 pixels so that it doesn't spawn to fill the entire screen. And then I'll go ahead and click on OK. So let me preview this again and see how that's going to look. So you notice we have our video that is showing, but because um, the grid is filling almost the same width as the first one, I'll make this negative 960 so it doesn't um fill the entire screen only sticks to the middle so if you want a design like this yeah easily or it's easier for you to be able to achieve something like this using wizard web builder so 
basically that is just about it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now